going to present you uh, some of our Serbian uh, gems and deposits. Um, uh, of course, there are a lot of them, and I'm not going to be able to to get. You are not going to be able to get the full picture, but uh, I pres I picked some of uh, most characteristic and uh, in a, some way interesting deposits and special characteristic type of deposits. So I would like to start. Yeah, uh, with lines from a book written uh, in 1925, almost 100 years ago. Although uh, gemology, as Branko well know, uh, is not uh, developed so much uh, in Serbia, we had a book from gemology about the gemstones uh, some hundred years ago. And I think it's a good place to start with. Uh, and this is my free, trans free translation, so if I made a mistake, <laughs> don't be so harsh to me. So uh, he wrote, in all centuries, at the lowest and the highest level of civilization, the man has loved to be adorned and decorated because he has an innate preference for beauty. I think that we all have an innate preference toward gemstones, definitely. So I think it's a good starting point for this presentation. So it's not a lecture, it's actually a presentation of what we have uh, regarding our gemstones. Uh, although uh, we didn't put too much at attention to our gemstone deposits, uh, some of them, some of those localities, uh, were uh, used even in uh, old times, during the prehistoric times. So here we see uh, black opal and uh, chalcedony used as, uh, uh, for making of weapons during the Neolithic times. And uh, this uh, location it is at the same time uh, archaeological site and gemstone deposit. So, so this is the place where, where they, as archaeologists, say extracted uh, opal ore. This is uh, close to Kraljevo. Yes, this is close to Kraljevo. Yes, this is a Lojanic uh, locality is known as Lojanic, very close to Matarushka Banja, close to, very close to, to Kraljevo. And I'll get back to that location again. Uh, and this is uh, an, an evidence that it's, uh, our gemstone deposits were used even in some, uh, probably in Roman times and definitely in early Byzantine period. Uh, so this is very close to Justiniana Prima. This is a town uh, established something uh, around uh, in, the, in the 6th century AD. And this is the old, as it's called, uh, old in, in our literature even, old Roman mine shafts. Uh, very close to Justiniana Prima, some 12 kilometers away from, uh, and you can see uh, that, that there was, uh, there is in situ uh, an agate and uh, amethyst, and those agates were used here in making mosaics. And uh, these slopes here are actually uh, uh, slopes of that deposit, the Rasovacu deposit. And this is Justiniana Prima, uh, that, that city and old town, actually. And these are those agates used uh, for uh, making um, mosaics there. So we have been using, no, uh, they have been using our uh, gemstones. Uh, geological prospection and exploration in Serbia uh, mainly took, uh, took part during the 70s and 80s uh, in uh, last century, 20th century. And uh, those, those have been uh, explorations that, uh, that were uh, mainly, mainly was focused on recording already known uh, locations that were found during the exploration of some other uh, mineral deposits, like metallic or non-metallic uh, deposits. So, uh, in very rare cases, we have uh, very well explored the gemstone deposit, but there are some of them, uh, especially very close to one uh, lead zinc mine uh, called the Letze. Uh, despite their, they, their, even their, uh, there is a report of their uh, ore reserves, uh, uh, their production or the exploitation never started actually. So, that's the situation at the moment in Serbia. It's a gold mine, yeah. It's, it's also a gold mine, yeah. Uh, lead, zinc, and, uh, and uh, gold mine also. Uh, and uh, some explorations uh, 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 also continued during the, uh, at the start of 21st century up to 2012. And those explorations were the one that uh, our government, our, our ministries were financing, and they stopped financing. So 
they are giving a, a rather small amount of money for the, the, the projects, you know. But uh, nevertheless, uh, 150 deposits, even some, some at this point even more, uh, were found at different level of exploration. Uh, so, and we have, it's a mistake here, even now 23 different gemstones uh, and with numerous varieties and, and sub varieties. Mainly, those gemstones are of uh, silica minerals, like chalcedony, with uh, their varieties like agate and many uh, agate sub-varieties, and then chrysoprase, carnelian, bluish chalcedony, chalcedony, black chalcedony also, picture jasper, then a uh, lot, lot of jaspers, uh, landscape jaspers and orbicular jasper. Then we have also opal, not precious one, up to now, who knows. Maybe we'll find some. Uh, many of you know, those are the dritic ones, uh, green, milky, differently colored, and, and so on. And we have also quartz in the form of rock crystal, amethyst. Uh, we also have a black one, morion. We also have uh, is a smoky quartz, but uh, rose quartz we never found up to now. And there are some other uh, gemstones like anchorite, beryl, uh, blue one, aquamarine. Uh, we also have some uh, rocks like carbonate silica breccia and onyx, then covalite, dolomite, fluorite, garnet, howlite, kyanite, listonite, magnesite, marble onyx, also a rock, pyrite, rhodochrosite, silicified wood, serpentinite, sphalerite, turmalin, and I also forgot this, probably some more. Uh, and next uh, we'll get to the geology of Serbia. I'm not going to deep into geology of Serbia. I'm not going to bother you with uh, our geology. Uh, but I, as a geologist, I need to mention about something, some rocks, <laughs> definitely. Uh, so Serbia is a very, uh, it has a very diverse ge geology with numerous geological formations. And some of them are rather prospective regarding gemstone deposits. Uh, this is just an illustration of main uh, geotectonic and metallogenic units. Uh, and this is a bit more interesting uh, regarding gemstones uh, uh, map. This is a one simplified metallogenic map of Serbia with uh, uh, main uh, metallogenic units. So we have four uh, major ones. This is uh, Dinaric metallogenic province. Uh, the biggest one is Serbo-Macedonian Serbo metallogenic province with uh, the highest number of discovered de deposits here. Uh, and we have also, there is a, um, um, uh, so, sorry, this is Carpato uh, Balkan metallogenic province, and the smallest one, and the least interesting is, because it's, it is the smallest one, is a Dacian metallogenic province. Uh, and uh, this is a rather simplified map because there are numerous uh, different geological units. Uh, these, these units here presented at the map are only one that are actually a host rock for our gemstone deposits. Uh, so, with this orange brown, orange brown color, uh, tertiary volcano platonic complexes are uh, presented. Then we have also the other volcanic uh, complexes, but with different of different uh, age, uh, Upper Cretaceous and Triassic. Then Altermafic rocks and granitoids. Uh, so, uh, and uh, the regions there where we found uh, where we have found. Uh, the, most of our uh, gemstones are you know, presented here. So starting from north to, to south, we have, um, there is a uh, Fruškagora ore district, then uh, Shumadia metallogenic zone, then Koponik uh, uh, metallogenic zone, and Lecce Kalkidiki uh, metallogenic zones. Zone, sorry. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, one, uh, uh, presentation of uh, gemstone, gemstone, gemstone type of deposits, actually genetic classification of our uh, gemstone deposits. Uh, and we, they, we have five type of gemstone deposits, uh, hydrothermal, which are, I think, uh, most numerous. There are a lot of them uh, in different geological formations, like uh, Jurassic ultramafic rocks, tertiary uh, volcanic complexes, uh, tertiary sediments, and, and so on. Uh, then we have pegmatites. Uh, mainly in our granitic rocks, uh, infiltration type of deposits, mainly on uh, altermafic rocks, on weathering crust on, on altermafic rocks. Sedimentary, there are placer deposits, and metamorphic ones, as we, we also have some metamorphic, uh, met metamorphic for gene, actually pegmatites. So this is a 
just short uh, classification of our uh, gemstone deposits. And we're going, we're now going to start to show some more interesting pictures, I suppose. Not because I am on the picture, but because uh, this is how one happy geologist looks like when he finds, finds uh, uh, one uh, agate vein. This is here, agate vein. It's the close up of the vein, and this is how an agate found it. The, 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 the same vein looks like when it's cut and polished. And uh, you think that it's easy to, to be a geologist, so, you know, you have a lot of dangers in our nature. So, we have uh, two kinds of vipers actually. This is this one is called sharka, it's called a variegated one, <laughs> and there is one that's called hopper, uh, the one that hops you so he can jump in bite you. Uh, actually, they are not so many, they are not uh, too aggressive, you know, so usually they are rather shy towards uh, uh, people there, so they are going to hide. There is also, of course, uh, a very, uh, this, it is dangerous if you step on them or if you put your hand on, on them, but, and they are uh, poisonous. So, and I didn't know even that in Serbia we have also Scorpius, until uh, one time I picked picked a rock uh, close to Ursche, granitic rocks, and I found a scorpio. Rather, yeah, I enlarged here this in the picture, it was something like this, so it's a totally harmless uh, to humans. But let's go back to our uh, gemstones, to uh, anorganic, inorganic uh, nature. Uh, so I already said that uh, although our uh, explorations were modest in scope, partial and discontinuous, uh, we had more than 150 deposits, and those are uh, the authors that I needed to uh, sh to, um, to show to, to give the, the, the respect to them for for making uh, uh, rather uh, significant explorations for our gemstone deposits. And we are starting now from Kozi uh, of Fruška Gora, Kozi uh, deposit, uh, which is located on uh, Fruška Gora mountain. And this is the, the first uh, mineralogenic uh, uh, unit that I mentioned. Uh, and uh, deposits here are located in uh, serpentinites, uh, in three zones uh, of Fruška Gora. So uh, we have seven deposits, uh, the major one being Kozi uh, Vrdo. Uh, and they are of hydrothermal origin, and I plan to explain you how it, they, they are formed, but I'm not going to bother you anymore, because I think that I don't need, I shouldn't do that <laughs> at this moment. And this is how it, it looks at, uh, at the field. So this is an agate in uh, carbonate minerals. So uh, it's actually a rock, uh, and carbonate minerals are magnesium, dolomite, calcite, calcite, and anchorite. And this is an agate, and we have the breccia and onyx that of that combined uh, uh, composition. And also there are agate, jasper, colorless chalcedony, light blue chalcedony, purple chalcedony, and uh, uh, quartz in the form, mainly in the form of uh, rock crystal. And if you uh, which is uh, uh, something that our, my colleague is doing best. Uh, if you cut this kind of rock into a thin, thin section and look at, uh, through a polarizing microscope, you will see something like this. This is the part of uh, an agate. This is the part from here. And uh, this is uh, actually something that we, we can find around the, an agate. This is an carbonate. And we, say, we see that the, uh, chalcedony is uh, younger than uh, carbonate. You see, this is uh, one uh, vein that's cross cutting actually uh, carbonates previously formed. And this is how uh, this uh, agate looks like when it's cut and polished. Uh, this is one from uh, Cozy Bredo. Uh, this is the main type of uh, most characteristic one uh, uh, from Cozy Bredo, but there are steep different types like this tube agate or this would be uh, some kind of landscape agate so this is how a tube agate looks when it's cut and polished into the form in the form of free form cabochon uh, there is also sard it's uh, not so brownish uh, less maybe less brownish sard then we have bluish chalcedony and uh, this is uh, very hard to, uh, to cut, actually, because it's a combination of carbonate minerals and uh, silica minerals. And we know that there is a big difference in their hardness, but if you cut it by hand, 
you can achieve a rather good uh, results. So this is also one pendant made uh, of those, uh, actually rock, not uh, mineral. And this is, uh, I think, the rarest type of chalcedony, uh, definitely at Frushka Gora. It's a purple chalcedony. The color is a bit better in, in vivo than, than on, on picture, but uh, you believe me that it's better than, than it looks now. Uh, and we are coming to the next uh, um, uh, ore district. It's actually a zone, a metallogenic zone. It's, it's called Shumadia met uh, metallogenic zone. Uh, it's a Boblia deposit, it's, for, it's, it's here, and there are some other deposits very nearby. Uh, it's all, also of uh, hydrothermal origin, in a it's formed in a serpentinite, and uh, I think the, the most characteristic gemstone from this deposit is uh, jasper, but uh, orbicular type of jasper. There are some other also, uh, you'll see them. Uh, there's, there's also carne carnelian, sard, bluish chalcedony, agate, and even green opal. Uh, this is that type of uh, orbicular jasper. It looks a bit like polka dot agate, or maybe similar to uh, this uh, uh, jasper that comes from Madagascar. It's called ocean wave jasper. It looks uh, but differently colored. There are typical types of agate, and these are uh, differently colored uh, orbicular jaspers. And if you cut uh, those jaspers into and make thin section out of them, you will see that orbs are made out of uh, chalcedony, while body of uh, and jasper is made from uh, quartz. And these are some other examples from uh, uh, Boblia deposit. Uh, it's close to uh, Gordy Melanotes. Uh, then we have uh, yeah, different uh, types of picture jasper, carnelian, bluish chalcedony. And there is also green, uh, green opal, which I didn't, uh, I didn't put a picture here, uh, but uh, never mind. So we are going, uh, coming to the next uh, deposit. Uh, it's in the north, northwestern part of Serbia. It's uh, Cer Mountain. Uh, it's a granitic type of. Uh, the, uh, the, this is a rather big area uh, covered in, uh, occupying uh, actually some. Uh, 60 km square kilometers, and it's a granitic complex with pegmatites. In pegmatites, there are f f some uh, f uh, primary f uh, gemstone deposits were formed, and uh, we also have uh, placer deposits made when those uh, primary deposits were crushed and uh, weathered and, and uh, washed away to, to mainly to, to by rivers. Uh, and we have there uh, there is uh, an uh, barrel in the form of aquamarine. Uh, tourmaline, tourmaline, sorry, rock, rock crystal, smoky quartz, morion, and garnet. Uh, aquamarine, aquamarine of gem quality usually uh, reaches up some uh, crystals uh, of uh, three to four centi centimeters, uh, but usually they are translucent, not transparent. So they are uh, most adequate for cabochon cutting, but there are also uh, totally tra transparent uh, uh, barrels or aquamarines that you can use for faceting, and they, are, they have been used for faceting. Uh, gardens are usually rather small, uh, they are pyrop and almondine uh, mainly. Uh, but they occasionally reach the, 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 the uh, size that can be cut uh, into gemstones, and they tend to be rather beautiful when, uh, when they reach that, that size. Uh, so we can see how they look like. These, these are uh, aquamarines. This is the that cabochon uh, quality, and this is actually uh, uh, and this one here, or, or this one here also is. Uh, a fasting quality of uh, an aquamarine. So they are not like Brazilian ones, but they are our domestic and we love them a lot. Uh, and they are precious to us. Uh, so they, we, they're at, uh, there, there are uh, smoky quartz, there are black quartz, there are even sometimes uh, red quartz, suitable mainly for cabochon cutting and garnet big enough for. Is it a single crystal? Uh, yeah, it's polycrystal actually. Yeah. No, so it's not a single individual. It's not quartzite. It's uh, no. Uh, it's um, it's quartz, but it's a rather cracked, uh, not so good quality. But it can use, be used. It's not a quartzite. No, it's not that. Uh, it's, it's very interesting is how why it's uh, red. So that's something that you uh, need to be yeah to study that. 
So we are coming back to that Loyanic uh, deposit. Uh, uh, that Loyanic deposit is uh, for us is uh, interesting, interesting very f because of uh, petrified wood we find there. Uh, or silicified wood, uh, it's found in uh, Miocene uh, conglomerates or sediments, uh, very close to one uh, big fault zone and in, on the contact with the uh, uh, serpentinite of uh, mountain Stolovi. Uh, petrified wood can be rather uh, well preserved, so we have uh, some twigs, branches and even logs sometimes. Uh, and they, uh, they, their wooden structure sometimes can be, uh, it's rather usually very well preserved. So we can hear, see uh, wood nodes and uh, even uh, ring, wooden rings uh, uh, noticeable in our uh, petrified wood. And this is how petrified wood looks like when it's uh, in, in situ uh, in um, those Miocene sediments. Then, when it's cut and polished, it looks like this, and these, these are uh, the wooden rings that you can notice. Notice them here. Uh, wooden nodes even noticeable, and this is one uh, branch uh, cross-cut uh, and, and polished into something that could be used as uh, for, for earrings maybe. And this is one small twig. Very interesting. And we are coming to uh, Mount in Golish. Uh, with uh, one of the most interesting uh, gemstone deposits found in Serbia, uh, uh, and it's a uh, chrysoprase, but uh, actually at the same time, this is the deposit of uh, nickel, cobalt, uh, and even magnesite. So it's, you have there uh, metallic uh, ore minerals, non metallic ore minerals, and even gem gemstone uh, minerals. Uh, it's one big uh, ultramafic uh, complex. Uh, it's uh, of uh, uh, intradurational type of uh, deposit uh, uh, beside uh, uh, sorry chrysoprase we are find, we are finding there also uh, um, some different types of opal and even some uh, chalcedonies these are the, this is the chrysoprase that we found we had, there there is in a deposit uh, of uh, Glavica uh, and you can notice here that I uh, uh, give a title uh, chrysoprase or chrysopal or praseopal. Uh, mainly uh, those chrysoprases from, from uh, Golesh are actually opal. They are not of uh, that type uh, that you can find uh, in Australia, which are mainly uh, chalcedony. But sometimes we found chalcedony here, but you cannot uh, recognize whether it's uh, uh, opal or chalcedony, but just looking at it, the color is completely the same as the one from uh, Australia. So it's rather, rather good quality. What does it mean in Russia or in Russia way to separate this? Uh, yeah, it's, it's very easy to separate if you just make... Uh, uh, it's it's now. It's now. It's no, no, no. Even even more simply, if you measure just specific gravity, it's a different uh, between yeah. chalcedony and, uh, and and opal, and you, you can measure your you can make make measure refractive index. So it's a different. So it's a, it's, a, it's lower, much lower than and it's a chalcedony. So this is mainly I had the pleasure to to cut a lot of them. Uh, and to measure the mainly refractive indices, in, in indices uh, and I never found that it was uh, a chalcedonic type. Uh, sometimes when cutting them, it looked like, but I didn't get the chance then to, to, to measure refractive index. So, uh, and this is something that I uh, deliberately put here because you all had a chance to, to pick those uh, Macedonian uh, rubies and this is one uh, cut and polished and made, made a uh, pendant together with this green chrysoprase. So uh, yeah, this is something that I think is rather undervalued from this deposit. These are uh, dendritic opals and they tend to be rather beautiful. I found them rather beautiful, I don't know, I, I hope you agree with me. And they can be differently colored uh, and they have a lot of the, this manganese uh, uh, then dendrites, yeah, and then it can be, you know, like, like uh, green in color, body color, on, it's almost transparent. And something that's also undervalued there is that orange calcedon. Uh, it looks beautiful to me, and I never found any other uh, nicely colored orange calcedony in, in from any other uh, other location. So it's something that 
I'm, I like uh, from this deposit. And we are coming to uh, let's say volcanic complex, which I left for, for the end of my presentation. Uh, from different reasons. First, because I uh, finished my doctoral thesis on this, the, on this, this, this area, uh, and especially because it uh, comprises one of uh, very interesting metallogenic zones called the Letze Halkidiki metallogenic zones, which uh, stretched from Letze, from Serbia, up to Thessaloniki, from which you came just, just now. So this is a nice uh, way to finish. It's a rather big, uh, it's a volcanic complex made of mainly andesitic uh, rocks. It uh, covers all some, an area of, uh, which is even bigger than seven, 700 kilometers, square kilometers. Uh, there are different types of, uh, but all of them were, are uh, primary deposits are practically of hydrothermal type. Some of them are brecciated quartz zones, then uh, agate veins, uh, or some siliceous center. Uh, and uh, of course, there are some uh, secondary deposits, uh, mainly alluvial and uh, alluvial deposits also. The gemstones found at uh, let's say volcanic complexes are jasper, chalcedony, and quartz with a lot of uh, different uh, sub varieties like agate, uh, carnelian, sard, black chalcedony, blue chalcedony. Then we have different kinds of uh, jasper, multicolored, uh, variegated uh, picture jasper. We also have uh, Amethyst and rock crystal, and I forgot to mention also uh, petrified wood. Uh, these are the primary the locations of prim primary deposits. This is one abbreviated zone with uh, amethyst and even uh, 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 an agate. This is an agate vein, and this is secondary deposit uh, alluvial type, and uh, one way sweaty geologist there. Uh, and this is how uh, an agate from uh, uh, let's say area looks like, and uh, one of the specifics of uh, this agate is that uh, can be uh, with, it, it uh, possesses uh, some uh, bands of blue, or not bluish, but uh, violet color or purple color actually. Uh, so we can see, see also. So I rarely find uh, that color in in, um, in agates. There are some different types of agates here also. Yes, one more with uh, purple uh, bands, and this is uh, volcanic agate. There is two types of agate actually. Uh, one it's typically is um, a vein agate, which is epithermal agate uh, formed in a completely known hydrothermal way of forming uh, or deep deposits. But there are also uh, uh, volcanic agates. They are formed in uh, uh, voids that are left uh, after. Uh, gas escaped from uh, some lava that, that was spilled. Uh, and sometimes in those, those voids you can find agates. So uh, the genesis of the formation of those agates are not completely understood at all. Uh, and to, to uh, what's fixing in favor of this, this uh, what, what I said is that you cannot find uh, any uh, agate that's artificially made. There are no synthetic agate at all. Uh, you can find artificially colored agate, but unless, uh, let's say, diamonds who can be artificially made, there are no agates. This is because they don't need, they don't understand completely, or we don't understand completely, uh, the, the, uh, the, the formation of agates in uh, those uh, uh, environments. Uh, they are also an amethyst. Usually it's this type of agate, amethyst with a, a rather uh, fused uh, individual crystals. Sometimes, occasionally, in it, it's uh, uh, very good for cabochon cutting, not for faceting, but sometimes you can, uh, they can be of that faceting quality, but rarely. So this is an amethyst, and they are also uh, uh, combined uh, amethyst agate. So they are cut together, so they are actually variety amethyst agate. Uh, different types of chalcedony. Uh, this one looks most, almost like uh, uh, moonstone. It's, it has uh, some uh, bluish uh, shine, uh, differently colored uh, uh, sorry, uh, chalcedonies and black chalcedony. You all know that black chalcedony is rather, or black onyx, known uh, as a trade name, it's uh, black onyx. Uh, it's usually dyed uh, agate or even artificial glass. Uh, but this is to totally natural 
uh, chalcedony, black chalcedony, and it is very interesting why it's black, so it's something to be studied further. So, but there are a lot of actually uh, black chalcedony at, uh, let's say, uh, andesitic complex. And coming to jaspers, there are a lot of different types of jaspers. Uh, these are uh, maybe my favorite ones, uh, variegated jaspers. Uh, it's a shame that the sun started to shine now. <laughs> but nevertheless, so, uh, yeah, or petrified wood. This is uh, one close up of uh, petrified wood, and this is uh, the one uh, pendant made out of the petrified wood from, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, uh, andesitic uh, volcanic complex. Uh, these are some other agate uh, pendants uh, made uh, in, in silver. Oh, this is your jewelry. Right? Yes, this is my, my jewelry. I also made jewelry. And uh, uh, just a quick uh, review of some other deposits. Uh, they are on uh, Mount Zlatibor, which is uh, rather west of uh, in the west part of the Serbia. They are very beautiful dendritic uh, uh, opals and chalcedonies. Uh, it's rather nicely colored <laughs> purple fluoride, but you cannot see it now. Uh, it also is one in, in the western part of uh, Serbia. Uh, and uh, one touristic site uh, of Serbia called Divčubare at uh, Mount Marian, there, is, there are very beautiful picture jaspers. And this is something that uh, one of our colleagues uh, here possesses. <laughs> one of them, one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this is also from that, that uh, mountain. Uh, marble onyx, usually the mar marble onyx is used for some uh, decorative objects like vases, uh, candlestick holders, uh, lamps, uh, and something like that. But you, sometimes it's uh, made into, into jewelry also. And to finish uh, with some different types uh, from completely different uh, uh, locations, there are azurite. Yeah, actually, I didn't list the azurite because there is no uh, deposit that you cannot that you put finger on that you can find azurite, but sometimes occasionally you find very uh, nice uh, quality of azurite. There is quartz, a lot of quartz, of course. Uh, and my colleague asked me, do you, do you, have you, uh, did you put any picture of rocks? I said, yes, there's several tonight. <laughs> Because she's a petrologist, she needs <laughs> this one. This one here, the, 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 this, this one is from Fruška Gora. It's for, yeah, but there are a lot of places in Serbia. Yes, it's, it's uh, we call it uh, rock serpentinite. It's made of a lot of serpentine minerals because there are a lot of serpentine minerals, and we uh, call that rock serpentinite. It's many. You can say for this uh, one rather freely, it's serpentine. So. Because the British Columbia from it's yeah. Major, yeah, 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 major source and uh, popular. Yeah, and what you in British Columbia there are some uh, nephrites, so <laughs> we are you're trying to find maybe some nephrites here. <laughs> we'll see. And this, uh, this is a covalite. Uh, it is one of the uh, if you go to uh, British Museum, National History Museum, and you look for something comes from Serbia, you'll find covalite. So once some of those covalite you can even cut and polish, some of them is rather pure, and some of it pyrite uh, minerals, and that's everything that I prepared today for you, and thank you for your attention.